My name is Linda Velasquez. I am a director over the Service Operations Center. We monitor all of the services and applications for digital and ETS. And I also have application support teams for uh, all of the frontline applications. I've been with T-Mobile for 15 years. I started in the Brownsville call center uh, that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Before I was with T-Mobile, I worked with Dish Network and I was with Dish Network for 10 years within technology. I was home, right, raising two babies and decided, you know, I need to go back to work. And I always knew that I was really okay with technology and with like I typed really fast. So that kind of helped me get into like, I'm gonna go into the, the technology field, the IT field, because I can type fast. And I went to one of these nine month crash courses schools and got a certificate in basically desktop support. Got A plus certifications um, and went to my first, my first job. I did not have a college degree. It wasn't till later being here with T-Mobile before I decided I wanted to advance my career that I went back to school and got a degree in uh, business leadership. You have to gather allies, right? Uh, you have to have these allies that are rooting for you in the background, who are behind those closed doors, having those conversations and being able to describe your accomplishments and your abilities to other leaders. I'm part of Women in Technology, part of the community meetings with, within Women in Technology. We come up with the topics, we build the content, we build the scripts, and then we deliver that over to the original leaders for Women in Technology so they can give it to their areas. Researching and going out there and understanding what are the hot topics uh, and strategies that we can enable our women and even our allies on what they can do to progress their career, understand and working with difficult people, dealing with biases um, and how do you deal with that and what is, uh, what is appropriate, what isn't, and how do you speak up when you do see it. Funny that you bring this up because the gender of women coming into the uh, workforce, into STEM, um, and that to level it out between men, it's going to take us up to 2133. 2133 is the year. That's how much of a gap there is right now with women in technology, right? Women in STEM. The biases that I have encountered, it seems like I always have to prove myself and work harder. I, I have a proven track record of my abilities and my uh, building successful teams and running successful teams. But every time I go into a new area, right, I have to prove myself again. I thought that I had to meet every aspect of that job, 100% before I can even apply. I felt like I had to have a degree. It's one of the main reasons why I went back to school, it was like I felt like I had to, compared to if a man came in with no college education. very important and we have to start at a very young age. I remember going into an elementary school and it was, you know, bring your parent to school day. And this is the time that I was a desktop technician. And I brought a computer into the school to my daughter's class and I opened it up and I was describing the different components inside the computer. And let me tell you, the questions I got from the little kids is like, girls can do that? And I was like, yes. Thank you.